So at this point, you should have your inner leg seam straight stitched. Now, what you're going to do next is you're going to zigzag. Remember, you want to zigzag to prevent fraying. So right now, if you don't zigzag, okay, eventually your fabric, after you wear and wash it for a little while, will start to fray like so. Okay, so when you change your settings on your machine to a zigzag, the only thing you need to change, coming up here, your stitch width dial goes from zero to the number five. Okay, so and again, you're going to do the exact same thing you did on your seam sample. So you're going to put your fabric down. You're going to line up the edge of the fabric with the edge of the presser foot here. So you're no longer following the 5 8 line, but you're following the edge of the presser foot. So lower your needle into the edge of your fabric. Lower your presser foot. Make sure your two tails are back behind you and out of the way. Slowly step on your foot pedal. Okay, you can see my tails are pulling in. If your tails pull in, just hold them gently as you go forward. Okay, and as I'm just sewing, I'm just watching that the edge of the fabric is following the edge of the presser foot. No need to pin here. Okay, you've already straight stitched, and there's no need to reverse. You only reverse when you're straight stitching. Okay, as you get close to the end, you're going to use your hand wheel so you don't sew off your fabric. Just before you're about to sew off your fabric, your thread take-up lever is going to be up. Lift up your presser foot. Snip your threads nice and close to the fabric without snipping your fabric. Okay, so now your fabric should not fray beyond your zigzagging stitch. Now remember, I didn't do a very good job here, okay? So make sure that when you pin and do your straight stitching, your edges are matching, like so. Down here is much better. 